welcome to Community Health TV powered by Community Therapy. I'm here with accredited practicing dietitian Grace and we're talking about dietetic care needs for people living with progressive health conditions. So, which is a really big topic, but something that we think is really important to do a quick video on for general public, um, healthcare professionals, coordinators across aged care disability to just be aware of. So, what is a progressive condition? Yeah, um, look, it's in the name. It's something that progresses over time. Um, some examples of a progressive condition include, for example, motor neurons disease, Parkinson's disease, dementia. And I think it's also just really important to note that any progressive disease is very individualised to everyone. Um, they may have different, I guess, stages as well as um, the time it does take to progress. Yeah. So and the healthcare yeah. needs and considerations are going to be very different across the different conditions. Absolutely. However, from a dietitian perspective, with a condition being progressive, why is that then an important consideration for a dietitian and, and how someone's needs of food and, and um, liquid, water, hydration, <laughs> hydration uh, why are those things important to consider because they're changing? Yeah, they're changing, um, but it's also really important to be able to communicate the disease and the different changes or challenges that not only the client or individual is going to face, but also uh, making their family members and carers aware as well of those different stages and perhaps different things to look out for as well along the way. Um, whether that be a change in eating, um, you know, in weight management, whether it be unintentional weight loss or gain, depending on the condition. Um, and it could be even looking at different things like swallowing difficulties to identify, which would be looking at other pathways such as seeing a speech pathologist as well. So maybe an example here is somebody living with dementia mm -hmm. and how would our dietetic care needs change over time for somebody that's been diagnosed with dementia and over time, how is that gonna change? Yeah, so again, like, like I said, everything's individualised and particularly dementia is one of those that is very individual. Um, we could be looking at very different conditions or concerns from a dietetic perspective. Um, so one of those may be unintentional weight loss or malnutrition is something that we do want to prevent. Um, in the initial or early stages, it's really about just preparing the family, having a discussion about how one's oral intake may be at that point in time, but then perhaps planning for the future of things to identify, like I mentioned, whether it may be reduced oral intake or um, refusal of food. So that's when we start to look at different strategies to put in place. So whether that be making sure that we're prompting or reminding the client or asking them quite frequently across the day, are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? Um, then, you know, if things do progress even further, we may be looking at an oral nutrition supplement to put into place. Um, and even things such as with the disease progression, um, if someone was to perhaps forget how to use cutlery or eat food, that's when we might as well be making sure we look at things like having finger food available or having a cup of water on the bench to make sure that the client is still able to meet their nutrition and hydration needs. Mm. You touch on some really good points that I think maybe people don't always think about from a dietitian yeah. point of view. Um, you can look at you can look at any healthcare professional of like what are those main things that people do, you know, help with what are people eating and what, what mm. should they be taking in. But I don't think we always appreciate the, the span of the skill set there of identifying how does somebody's cognitive impairment then impact their ability to then eat and all of these yeah. sorts of things. So that ability for a dietitian to support somebody as their function and their their physical function and their cognition and their health status changes over time and being I know you always speak about like being creative with different ways that's suitable for that condition 
for that person to keep getting that you know correct nutritional intake in is really important so progressive conditions are challenging but having the right healthcare professionals involved is really important to make sure that somebody is well supported to um, live with that progressive um, condition over time and I guess avoid more complexities or confounding um, healthcare conditions that could be avoided with the, uh, the right care in place. Yeah, absolutely. And that's where early intervention is so important um, just to prevent complications of, you know, specifically malnutrition, but other things along the way um, as well. We want to make sure that everyone is prepared and um, really does have that future planning in place as well. Yeah. So main takeaway from today, somebody living with a progressive condition, and we've mentioned several today, Parkinson's disease, motor neuron disease, people living with dementia, really make sure that a dietitian is involved with supporting that person over time. And that's a key um, takeaway from today. So thanks so much for your time and we'll see you in the next episode.